What's going on? Today you are tuned in to an up and close look at Algorand and their test net. So, if you don't know, I'm looking into a few projects, just you know, narrowing my scope, loving the non-fungible tokens, loving the the space, and how it's creating ways to, you know, be creative and innovative with ownership, trustless systems, and so on and so forth. So Algorand. This is the website, and as you can see, the testnet is ready for us. Uh, yeah, open to the public. So before the GitHub was private, they're going to be opening it public. You can, you know, set your GitHub account up, go in here and begin building. Uh, you have to let me see. Click on this, and you have to be accepted. You can apply for the testnet, and you have to be accepted to enter the atmosphere, the ecosystem of Algorand. So really quick, I want to go over to the, the Twitter and I saw this post doing some cool things in the space. Let me see right here. So proof of work, delegated proof of stake and bonded proof of stake all suffer from the following fatal flaw. The whole economy is at the mercy of a small part of the economy. Basically, you know, with mining proof of stake, uh, bonded proof of stake, it's just the whole ecosystem doesn't play a part in what goes on. Just the miners, there may be two major miners or three major mining companies that mine for proof of work. It's delegated proof of stake. Actually, there's a, let's click on this article. Savio, so right here. This is an 18 minute read on Medium, but I, so I'm not gonna read through it all. <laughs> but what I will do is show that, let me see. Parent try so he calls it a trilemma security, scalability, and decentralization. Let's see, cost, speed, and security. So you got this, these three points, and people are like, you know, you, you can't have all three, you got to give up. The goal is to have all three. Take your time, wait till you can have all three. So let's scroll down a little bit. Here is proof of work. So, first fatal flaw proof of work does not scale, proof of work is very slow. Bitcoin's crypto puzzles are so hard <laughs> in order to guarantee that one solution is found every 10 minutes it takes up about Bitcoin still a little slow you can't scale right now with Bitcoin uh, they're finding other ways plasma chain lightning network they're just finding other ways around it no matter how many miners try to solve the crypto puzzle man so it's expensive and fast but expensive and slow is hard to understand <laughs> let's see so okay, it goes into the flaws of and this is what proof of work. Let's see proof of work, more flaws, just flaws. It is good to find the flaws to get to something better. Let's see proof of work. So then we got proof of stake. Let's see. So proof of stake is a different approach. So the community empowers a few special users. Delegated proof of stake. So it's you know delegate delegated to a few a few users. Here goes the example of EOS 21 delegated proof of stake. Uh, you can call them elected officials, but it's only 21. So it's still centralized in a, in a sense. And then you got additional security problems. Then you got bonded proof of stake allows 20 users or 200 users, as many that are willing to put up some money on the table so they can bond their proof of stake. So what if someone just says has a bunch of wallets and they that one person just puts up all this, you know, a collateral to overtake the whole thing. So you still could have some, they call them bad actors. So this is all the, this is the, this is setting the stage for algorithm. And they want to implement pure proof of stake. Like how that sounds, pure proof of stake. So at a high level, it's a new block is constructed in two phases. The first phase, a single token is randomly selected, selected and the owner they're going to have a say in the next block. Then the second phase, the second phase is a thousand tokens are selected among all tokens in the system. The owner of those thousand tokens are selected to be a part of the second phase committee. So you get the first phase, you have the second phase, which proves the block proposed by the first user. So you get two layers of confirmation and selection, which is cool. So why the second phase? You definitely want to come here to this medium and read all of this to see what they're proposing and what they're doing. I guess my phone. All right, cool. So once a user runs 
his or her lottery, one of the two cases occur. Nice. Security. All right, so this, so algorithm, let me, let's go to what's happening. Here's what's going on. The milestone is the testnet launch. It's opening to the public. Businesses, developers, individuals, come on in and be creative, be innovative. If you do, if you do not see what you want in a space, make it yourself. Don't be someone out there, you know, just kind of nagging. I don't, I don't like this, I don't like that. If you don't see what you want in this space, then make it yourself. Algorithms open your test net, which is incredible. Main net will be later launched later this year. Uh, let's see. So, after an overwhelming response. <laughs> so the test net, as you saw, you have to click here. Let's go here. It's invite only. So you have to fill out your information, create your GitHub username, invite only. So you're going to have to apply to get into the test net and start creating. Let me see. We're excited to open our GitHub repository. Nice. Anyone can download and, and install a node. This reminds me. Well, I wasn't around during the early Ethereum days, but this kind of, if I were to imagine or reimagine early Ethereum days, this is something that may blow it out the water. We'll see. No speculation. But this is openly opening the repository, opening the GitHub repository for everyone to come in and start building. All code will be open sourced prior to the mainnet launch, which is good to hear. At our launch, Testnet has a strong core foundation. Nice. So they've all, they already been behind the scenes, already building, already troubleshooting. Uh, what is it? Stress testing. Uh, cool. So, key functionalities. With our open Testnet, you can start building with the following resources REST API. Go SDK in JavaScript SDK. I feel like that's the best place to start. Uh, JavaScript. Some people are using Python. Well, me, I started with Solidity. You know, I got into after Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is going to be very interesting. So Algorithm provides ways to interact with blockchain through official Go in JavaScript SDKs. Yep. Provide REST APIs. Nice. Okay. To communicate with running node processes from any language, the REST APIs. I got it. So, the SDKs provide additional offline fun functionality and allow developers to quickly integrate with existing projects. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm building is a an auction house, you know, a marketplace for interoperability, you know, chain agnostic, just open source or open marketplace for digital assets. And this, this is something that's uh, piquing my interest even more. There's just the more, the deeper I get into this algorithm and the crypto space in general as a whole, I should say. Uh, just you're, you're starting to see the diamonds shine through. You're going to see the, the beauty and the things we can create. Uh, yeah, it's, we're here early. So we are the creators. You need to get in this test net do something pick a project start building you know if you can't do it yourself there is bam go to the community just about every major uh crypto project has a community this is algorithm's community i joined i'm an ambassador and this is all volunteer by the, by the way uh i really feel good about this project and yeah so you want to join the community with anything you're interested in ask questions and that's that's the best place you that's the best position you can be in. Forget about the market, forget about investing. Ooh, a new update. I'll go check that out. Uh yet. Yeah. Build. Build them. That's really where the win is. That's the bigger picture, the bigger game. Don't worry about the market cap. 100, 200 billion. Don't worry about <coughs> Don't worry about all of that. Just focus on building. And build something good. If you don't see it, create it yourself. All right. To further open the community involvement, open sourcing JavaScript. Cool. Algorand's code will also be open source in the near future. That's good to hear. That's Algorand. Join the test net. You can come in to see more old careers, blog, news, events, build your opportunity, some of our benefits. Ooh, healthcare plans, paid time off. 
<laughs> Parking transportation re reimbursement. All jobs. Ooh, marketing, engineering, business, product management, research. Okay. Cool. So there you have it. That's Algorand. Thanks for tuning in. That's what's coming up. The test net. Let's see how it goes. There's a few things rolling out this year, and I'm so excited. All right, thanks for supporting. Make sure you subscribe. Stay up to date. I'm going to keep this in a playlist so you can follow Algorand. I'll set up a node myself. We'll see if I can set up a node. My computer needs to be cleared out. <laughs> um, yeah, but we'll keep. I'll actually have an interview coming up soon, too. And yeah, stay tuned. Leave a comment below if you're in Algorand or if you're in a project like Algorand and you're building something. Uh, I want to know what you're doing. Let's keep this communication open and I'll be back. Peace.